Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Praveen Kumar Sriram. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer, Author and currently working as a Solutions Architect on Azure and Azure DevOps. Today we are going to learn about how to create Hello World pipelines in Azure DevOps. Let's head over to the portal. Let me click on the project. Navigate to pipelines. Right now, you don't have any pipelines. So it says create your first pipeline. Let's create a pipeline by clicking on the create pipeline button. There are multiple ways of creating the pipelines and there are multiple steps in creating the pipeline. Let's pick one of the easiest one by using the classic editor. In order to use classic editor, you need to click on this use the classic editor button which helps us in creating the pipeline from the graphic user interface. Let's click on this. Now the very first step is we need to pick the project, the repository and the branch. We'll learn more about this in our upcoming videos. But in this current video, we'll not be using any of this because we're just printing hello world. Let's click on continue. As you can see in this current choose a template step, Microsoft Azure DevOps provides us templates which helps us in quickly creating the pipeline for the most common technologies. As you can see here, Azure DevOps contains templates for .NET, Android, Maven, Docker, and there are more featured templates if I scroll down. But for this demonstration, we'll go with an empty job because our goal is just to create Hello World pipelines. So let's click on empty job button. Now there are a lot of tabs here and a lot of elements, but we will learn about all these in the upcoming videos. For now, let me add a PowerShell step. and search for PowerShell. And I would like to write the code in line. By default, it gives you hello world output. And I would like to add one more PowerShell step. And again make it inline so here I would like to change the names of these steps hello world inside job one and task one and here I'll make it to job one task two Let me click on save and queue and then click on save and run. It took around 8 seconds to complete the job. Let's click on this to see the progress of steps. We can see task 1 which printed the corresponding output and task 2 also did the same thing. So this is how we create DevOps pipelines using classic editor. That's it for today. In the upcoming video, we'll explore the various components of Azure DevOps pipeline. If you have any feedback, please leave the feedback in the comment section. Thank you.